Hell y'all. Welcome to part 6 of my Socialist Republic of Italy Mussolini Path playthrough and Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 5, we improved the state of the economy and also declared war on the Mafia. So with something like that going on, let us continue what we were doing and get the military industry focus done. That would take like, I think, 19 days. So all we gotta do is wait. There's a war there between the Fang Tian government, government and the Qing Imperial Authority. Yeah, it's the 5th Sili Fang Tian War, so that is happening now. And it's not going to concern us, but it is something going on in the world. And it's a lot of fighting. It's just one of many wars in China, it seems. So as we can see here, East Turkestan's fighting a lot of countries. Yeah, it's just a big mess over there. The Warlord Era is clearly still going on. And it has been going on, but just it's nowhere close to ending yet. And eventually, we will fight Austria for Venice. We have to unite Italy. Even though we control a large portion of Italy, we don't control all of it just yet. And military buildup in Campania, get that done now. And that's going to get us some military factories, good. Good, good, good. Military industry focus is going to be complete in just a few days. Like eight, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, seven, so like a week. And the Belarusian People's Republic joined the Third International. That is the faction we are a part of. And here is Belarus. They look pretty large, honestly. Engineer Company 2 is done. So Belarus is part of our faction now. Bad news for them is that they're kind of isolated geographically. So if they get into any wars, we can't really help them too much. Which is unfortunate, but that's the truth. Just how geography is... That's how that works out over there in Eastern Europe. If it was like Lithuania or Ukraine, that would have been better. But still, they're just split away from the main group of the Third International. And complete militarized economy. This... Let me read this here. The economy must be geared towards war, for the wars we shall be dealing with. Let us make sure that the economy shall not falter when the war for reunification begins, or the war to spread socialism begins. And this will take 42 days, as many of the other economic-related focuses do, which is good. I mean, 42 days is fine, so is 70, but I just like the fact that they go a little faster than many other focuses. And we're just waiting here, just keep improving the, keep improving the economy, get it done. So we're just just passing time. Just passing time. Here's some infantry tech we have now. And in the research tree. Can we research can we research something something more advanced for naval invasions, perhaps? Yes, please. No, that's way landing craft is way too far ahead. Let's go for no, even yeah, that's way too far too. Can I what can I get then? Oh my goodness gracious. Let me go ahead and start researching concentrated industry three. And here's a new infantry division. Good. And militarized economy will be done in like, say, let me be precise here, 26 days, so that's good. And how is the planes looking? Can I get a new air wing, please? Any more fighters? Yeah, we have enough fighters. Let me establish a new air wing here. Great, so they're set up. And can I move any planes around or no? Where is, let me see this here. Let me look at this. So we have the second, the first, second, no third Stormo, which is like the squadron. I think it's Stormo is like Italian for squadron or something. Maybe we just don't have we just don't have a third squadron. They don't exist. We just skipped that number for some reason. We skipped the number three. Yeah, and here's a new division. Good. Army two gets another troop for them. Another unit. So many infantry divisions. Just so many. These Garibaldi divisions are essentially called. I think. And militarized economy will be done now in 15 days. After that, we may do feats of engineering or no, revolutionary education. I'm going to have to choose, aren't I? Probably. Mobilized industry seems like it would be quite useful, though. So I may go ahead and get feats of engineering done, since I will need both feats of engineering and militarized economy completed in order to start doing the focused mobilized industry down the line. And... There is some war there to war in the desert. That's between the Ottomans, the Iranians, and the Egyptians. I mean, I think it's it's Egypt, Yemen, and Iran teaming up against the Ottoman Federation, the Sublime Ottoman Federation, and it's not looking too good for them. How's the world tension now? I need it to be higher. It's only 36%. Come on. I need more world tension. I need it. Please. I think world tension in this mod is scripted, so yeah. Now Japan's fighting the Qing Imperial Authority. It's 41% now. The Armenian Uprising is occurring. The Second Sino-Japanese War is good. The world is in more strife, and that's good for me because the higher world tension gets, the, close, the closer I get to manually justifying a war goal, 
on the Austrian Empire. Yemen joins the Cairo Axis. It's a blind Ottoman Federation it's fighting Yemen. So that is happening. So I need 50%. I need 50% world tension, complete feats of engineering. And the Hellenic Republic joined the Entente. That's Greece. And so feats of engineering. We will never pull ahead unless we do the unexpected, looking towards the future. Syria joins the Cairo Axis. That is happening with feats of engineering and computer science. These are, let me read this please, these are the fields which will make our nation have the edge in the days to come and this will give us a national spirit that will make it easier to research anything related to electronics and it will give us electronics manufacturer or no, oh it's, it's an electronic manufacturer but it will give us like two research bonuses for electronics tech so that is good and we're going to have the Mussolini OS soon enough it seems, I'm joking but yeah construction three is done and we no longer get the effects of the war with the mafia so that's over with now great land doctrine let us unlock the mechanized offensive modified officer corps military high command focus go with the army high command logistics or no can i get one for these guys here army one officer corps roles please i need yeah let's go to giovanni messi here come on go to him Unit leader, no, that's not right. Okay, officer core roles. Let's make him army regrouping, no infantry specialist, yes. We're gonna make him an advisor and let's see how that works out. And can we use this please? Yes or no? Wait, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, that's not panning out in my favor, isn't it? It is not, military staff. Yeah, that may have not have been the best idea. I'm not sure if that did anything, I don't think it did. Okay, forget it then. Yet it didn't really go anywhere. And the Armenia, Armenia joined the Tabriz Accords. So let's now get a Air Force Command focus. Get this here. That will, well, they're going to focus on close air support. And here's some new divisions. Assigned them to Army Two, which is now having it now has 20 divisions in that army. So that's good. We'll have nearly almost 50 units, almost 50 divisions for the Italian National Social State soon. And what is the Tabriz Accords? Is that the what faction is that? Not sure. It's the faction led by Iran, the Republic of Iran. So yeah, that's what that is. So Iran has their own faction. The Ottomans have their own faction, I think. They, yeah, the Istanbul Pact, that is a thing. Then Georgia, well, no, Egypt has their own faction. So we have the Cairo Axis and the Tabriz Accords versus the Istanbul Pact, which consists of Jabal Shamar and the Arabian Peninsula and Georgia, who's involved in all this for some reason, the Republic of the Ottomans, apparently. Yeah, pretty big mess there. A very large battle for the Middle East. And the North Caucasian Imamate joined the Ottomans, the Sublime Ottoman Federation, so that is a big deal. And I'm just waiting here more to see how world tension is going to go up. How's it out now? 40%. Come on. Stop going down. I need world tension to go up, not down. And mobilize industry. Get this done here. Start doing this focus. And it says... With the upcoming war against all reactionaries and imperialists, we must ensure that our industry has the ability to respond quickly to change. Whoever produces the newest gun, then the quickest wins. And from this, we'll get some, well, one of our national spirits will be modified. And now it will be faster to construct military factories. Factory output will rise up, and the production efficiency cap will be greater. So overall, it seems like a nice focus to have completed. And after that, we'll do revolutionary education, expand the university, support the URI, synthetic research, and finally, socialist economic miracle. Or no, Italy has to be unified first. Come on. I can't unify Italy until I get Venice, as we can see here with this decision, Unite Italy. Why do I need Venice so much? I had to fight you for Venice. Why can't I just do, do that? I will fight you for Venice. I will fight you any day. Any, I, I will fight you on the moon, Austria. Italy versus Austria on the moon. I think people would love that. But it's not going to happen. Like, this war isn't going to happen anytime soon. Come on. And the Austrian Empire, I've noticed that they're sending some help to the Sublime Ottoman Federation. So they're helping out the Ottomans. They're also sending help to the American Union State, I think. No, that's actually the USA. Yeah, the American Union State's not getting help from the Austrians. However, they are getting help from a lot of other countries like Cuba, the Russian Empire, Sweden well, Sherman, no, Deutsch Middle Africa, Ireland, Finland, Brazil, oh my goodness gracious, there's so many people involved, so many volunteers involved in the 
foreign volunteers involved in the second American Civil War. Get advanced machine tools research now. Good. And mobilize. Industry will be done in like, let me see here, it will be done in say 16 days. So that's going to help out our economy. And what is revolutionary education even going to do? Okay, it just helps. It's going to give us a national spirit that will give us faster research speed. So that is going to be helpful, I will admit to that. And here's a new division, give them the Army 2 as we've been doing. And now, how much equipment do we have? A lot. So let me put more units in production here. Just train more troops. I need more artillery, I think. And get more military factories, please. Or just build construct, I mean civilian factories. We have plenty of military factories. We're going to need some civilian factories to rapidly build up more stuff, though. Probably. So get that done now. And we have a huge surplus of equipment overall. The Australasian Guard coup occurred in... Australia, the Australasian Confederation, essentially, and yeah, they're national populist. Okay, so I don't think they'll leave the Entente, they're just national populist now. And the Cairo Axis is pushing hard, or trying to break through the Ottoman lines. It's not looking like it's working. Did Syria rise up, and they got defeated so fast? That is brutal. And Iran is losing ground, Ukraine joined the Russian alliance, so... Eastern Europe for the Germans does not seem to be going too well. They've lost two allies in the former White Ruthenia and Ukraine. Ukraine has joined the Russian faction, obviously, so they want to be aligned more with the Russian Empire. Meanwhile, Belarus, Belarus has joined the Third International, and Lithuania is still part of the Reich's Pact. They still have them and Riga, I think, right here. So the United Baltic Duchy doesn't exist, but they have Riga, and that is it. So Eastern Europe is looking very different from it did in 1936. In the focus tree, let's now do revolution, revolutionary education, get it done. And how's world tension looking? It needs to be higher, come on, 39%. Just stay up, just stop decaying. I know the world tension is scripted, but why does it not have scripted decay? My goodness gracious, it's just irritating, frustrating. And Iran is losing ground quite a bit to the sublime Ottoman Federation. Now, modify the government, go to chief of the navy, Decisive Battle Doctrine, perhaps. Yes, sure. And how many more divisions can we make here? Quite a few more. It is 1939, so I'm expecting... April 1939. I'm expecting anything relating to the Alsace ultimatum to occur soon. And I suppose we will have to help our allies fight the Germans, who are honestly going to be kind of weaker than expected, because, I mean, Belarus is going to fight on the Eastern Front, and I don't know if we're going to get into a war with Russia or not. That could potentially happen if the Russian Empire chooses to go after the Belarusian People's Republic since they may want that land Belarus has under their control. So that could be rough. That, I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell. That's all I can say. And revolutionary education will be completed soon. Now let's start making more advanced weapons. That's armored cars. We don't need we don't need 11 factories on that. Make some more infantry equipment though. Start making that and make some cannons here. Good. Make some more improved artillery, I mean. Put more factories on that and put at least 15 factories on infantry equipment. Great. And I need more factories overall, just military factories, period. And that's why I'm building these civilian factories now. Although I may, I'm going to actually just cut down on a few of these. Just give me five, mil five civilian factories in the queue and that'll be good. So there we are. And I'm just waiting for something to happen between the Germans and the French. What is France doing? Alpine forces? Okay, they're not going to do no Alsace ultimatum right now. They're going to want Alsace Lorraine. That's why it's called the Alsace ultimatum. Alsace ultimatum. And now let's unlock dive bombing. That's going to be done. Revolutionary education will be done in just a few days. So I'm looking forward to that. That will give us faster research and speed. So that's going to be great. After that, we'll do expanding universities to get ourselves a research slot. We currently have five. So, this is going to be another division here. And Army 2 is full, so revolutionary education is done. So now let's get another army. Army 3, a tour to Trioil. Trioil? 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 I can't say his name. He's going to lead that force. And now, go to my military, in my focus tree, let's do expanding universities. Complete that focus here. And with that said, with all that going on, I think I'm going to end what is part 6 of my Socialist Republic of Italy Mussolini Path playthrough and Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux here. 
If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.